name is Taylor Lee Donahue. Nobody knows where the Texas is from. This was like my junior year of high school. There were just two peacocks that hung out. Well, it was a bit novel at first, but then it just... No, they, they would... They were weird. They would spend like a couple nights in my backyard, and then sometimes they'd hang out at my friend Anastasia's house, and then, you know, go around town. Oh yeah, the peacocks were in my backyard last night. Oh really? Yeah, they were in my backyard last week. Yeah. What was the fate of these peacocks? Um... <laughs> no, 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 nobody, nobody ate them! Well, okay. I lived about three quarters of a mile away from Tottenville Square. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I live towards the end of the island. And then if you walk down approximately three quarters of a mile, Apple Square, which is the commercial center of Tottenville, you know, had um, had all your fast food restaurants, including Burger King. Um, yeah, it was a popular Burger King. Um, one morning. Um, I don't, I don't know how I know it's hard to talk about. <laughs> no, it's... I just... Is there a peacock burger? No, no, no. That's way off. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't try to anticipate anything with this story. Well, <laughs> the peacocks always hung out more in the residential part of Tottenville, but they made their way down towards this commercial center <laughs> in Tottenville. Um, and nobody knew why they hung out there, because there's a parking lot and not a nice backyard. But one morning, uh, somebody beat the peacocks to death with a baseball bat in the parking lot of Burger King. From what I hear, he took off a shirt, um, picked the peacocks up, stood on a car, and threw, threw the peacocks to the ground while accusing them of being vampires. <laughs> He thought, he thought the peacocks were vampires. Wait, and he just. You know who this guy was? Like, yeah, his name's John Potts. He was in a psychiatric ward for three to four years, which means he's out now. Um, he also tried to kill his stepfather with a shovel, like three days later. I think when he was asked why he did it, why he killed the peacocks, he said because they came out of the darkness. But it was 7.30 in the morning. It was not dark yet. Um, people talk about it for a few days, but it went on with their lives. I don't think this story's about John Potts, though. Yeah, you're right. As much as it it can sway that way. It's about yeah. <laughs> Perhaps they were just some birds, some funny-looking birds that were someplace they didn't belong. <laughs>